In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy your Laravel application on the hosting server. So if you have an hosting server, then follow the steps. Else, I have also provided link in the description if you want to buy the, this server. So this is a shared hosting server. So let's get started. So if you go to your hosting, and uh, you will see your main domain and the hosting, okay? So here you need to go to manage, okay? And then what you need to do is you need to go to, see, you can see this domains option below here. So click on that and scroll down and you can see subdomains here. Okay, so I'm going to de deploy this Laravel application on subdomain. So I'll clear, create a Laravel website. Website, Laravel website. Let's see Laravel website like this. Dot get make digital dot com. So, so you can have a custom folder name. So I'll keep the custom folder name as same. Okay, and I will say create. Okay, you can see that my folder has been created into this location here. Now, uh, what we need to do is we need to deploy our previously developed app on this uh, domain. So let's go to Hostinger account back again. Now let's go to website lists. And you can see that uh, these are my websites that I have created. If I go to dashboard, you can see the file manager as well. So you need to go and click on the file manager here. So this will open the file manager of your website. Now I'm going inside the public underscore HTML. Then you can see under this, I have a folder called as Laravel website. So go on to that and uh, by default uh, the hosting will provide you with the default.php file so if you go to a list of websites if you go to hosting here and go to website list and if you try to open this this will be this will have a default page okay like this so let's close this and what we are going to do now is we are going to upload a local directory that I have zipped. So this is a Laravel 12 project that I have zipped onto the onto the hosting. Okay, so the, here I'm going to upload this app.zip file. So you can zip the file and upload it here. I will provide this code into the description so you can uh, the steps into the description so you can uh, go through the steps and do the same. So here I'm uploading the project. Okay, this would take some time. And uh, once done, we need to extract this. So let's wait for some. Okay, you can see that the app zip file is uploaded. So let's delete this file here. Okay, I deleted this file. Now let me extract this file. And you can see that this will be extracted here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this. I'm going to go to Laravel website. Okay. And I'm going to extract it in here. So I'm going to extract it in this folder. So Laravel website. So I'll see Laravel, Laravel, Laravel website. Okay, once I do this, I'll say extract. Okay, you can see that the new folder has been created called as Laravel website. So what we are going to do is we are going to copy all this and we are going to move these files to, so let's go to the 
one folder up and we are going to go to one folder up again and then we are going to select laravel website and we are going to move it here okay you can see and we'll just delete the folder this this folder which was created here so i'm going to delete this okay so we have uploaded the files and now if we go to the the now if we go to the site okay since we have extracted now let's go to this site and we are getting this errors because we need to put public here to access it and we can see that the uh, laravel project is now loaded into the uh, is loaded on the subdomain but it's coming under public directory so in the next video i will show you how to remove this public dot directory but you can see the other urls which we had uh, the pages which we had created are loading fine here now so if you go to contact it is going to contact and if you go to blog it is going to blog page also, if you click on the logo that is company, it will go to the home page. So this is for this video, guys. And uh, if you have any query, just comment. And I will put a link in the description of the steps that I took to uh, deploy this application on Hostinger.